Now, in order to regulate and control the checkpoints, we have uh, regulatory molecules. Now, these regulatory molecules, there's two of them that we'll discuss. They both are proteins. Uh, one is one we're familiar with called a kinase, and one is a cyclin. Now, what we're looking at here is a cyclin-dependent kinase. So this greenish molecule is still a kinase that transfers phosphate groups, but it's dependent on the molecule cyclin. So uh, a cool thing about the kinase is that it's inactive when it's in this form. As soon as cyclin is, is present, uh, now the kinase is active. So that's where the name comes from, a cyclin-dependent kinase. The kinase needs the cyclin there in order to be activated. Now, uh, the cyclin, you know, may attach to a target protein, and now the kinase can actually phosphorylate the target protein because it's activated. It's attached to the cyclin. Yay!